I did have a post that went pretty viral here, the jelly plate video. It got to a million views and my phone was just exploding. Every five seconds I was getting a new follower. So I went from 16,000 followers to 32, I think in like 24 hours. But you know something? My engagement stayed exactly the same. Same number of comments, same people, nothing changed. It's just all the dopamine rush that we crave from going viral. When we see a like pop up on our phone, as much as we hate to say it, we do get a rush of happy. It's like, oh, someone liked that. It's validation. Likes and follows, they don't always build up to sales. Oh, this is so popular. People are saying so many things, but nobody bought it. You see one thing and you go on that person's account and it's just that and there's nothing else and there's nothing below the surface. And it's very clear that this person just stumbled into this thing and now they're almost trapped doing the same thing or else they won't get as much engagement and the endorphin rush won't be as high from going viral. So it can be saddening and exhausting to make yourself do the same thing creatively when artists naturally grow and do new things and explore. So you'd hope that your followers and people who care about you would stick around for the journey, but most of the time it's not that simple. It's small gains. You have to be in it for the long game because if you want just, whoa, something exploded and I sold out my whole shop in two minutes, that's just so unrealistic. The vast majority of successful artists who sell consistently, it took them years. It is not one post that builds a company. I mean, every single company is like that. Dorian, for you, have you ever felt like, oh, it'd be so awesome if that happened? I want that to happen. I don't know how. Yeah, sadly. I like cringe at it sometimes when you want to achieve going viral. It just has to capture somebody the right way. There's a way and an approach to that stuff that I feel lessens my work. It really does cheapen the work, in my opinion. Really high profile viral art. That is so much scrutiny. And this is a piece by Bria Goler that was made when Kamala Harris became vice president in the US. And so she created this piece of artwork. It was all over the place, but then it got complicated because people didn't realize where that shadow image came from. That silhouette of the little girl is actually from this Norman Rockwell painting the problem we all live with, which is an image of Ruby Bridges. It was a big problem because a lot of people were sort of mad that she didn't say in the caption, oh, this is from a Norman Rockwell painting. She didn't offer that credit. And so a lot of people were mad about that. And there was a lot of confusion. People had to clear things up. So she did eventually say, oh no, this is what it is. So she had to do damage control because she had no idea it was going to get this scrutinized. And a lot of people were mad because they thought it was Kara Walker's silhouette, but really it was Norman <laughs> Rockwell's. A lot of viral posts, you look at the comments, it's like, I hate that color. You're using your paintbrush wrong. Petty things that build up and up and up. And eventually it's just annoying. 